Hey guys, and welcome to episode 5 of Road to Sanofi Open. Today, we're about to reach a, an incredible achievement. I'm very excited and I'm super ready for this. So, on the screen, right behind me, we're about to do this. So today I actually have some exciting news. We do currently have three weeks with vacation now. I had a night shift the week, this weekend and today it's currently Monday and I'm looking so forward to having these three weeks with vacation. Since I'm on prep, I won't be traveling anywhere. I will be just staying at home, working out, making my meals preparing for our competition and uh, I would just be saving all the money I would be using on traveling so it ain't that bad of a thing actually we're saving money we're getting ready for the competition and then maybe I will be traveling somewhere after the competition also what is really good is that uh, I have three weeks of vacation now and I also got the week before my competition I don't I got free for I got off from work that week uh, since it's peak week, which means I will be cutting down on my carbs and I will be drinking like 8 to 12 liters a day Which means I will be peeing a lot and then it will and then it will be very difficult for me to be at work when I have to pee like every 10th minute so Very good that we got that week off from work. Now I'm gonna make two meals uh, While listening to some music and then after I made my two meals I'll be going to the gym, have a push workout, and we actually have a heavy, uh, <laughs> we have a heavy push day today. So I will be doing an AMRAP with 95 kilos on the bench press. So that's going to be very exciting. Hopefully we're able to get like five, five to six reps. I'm not sure, but uh, I'm gonna film it. And hopefully there aren't that many people in the gym now since it's July, people are going home, all the students are going home, so yeah, very happy about that. Less people in the gym, that's always good. Easier to film, don't have to wait for equipment to be accessible, so very good. We are currently eight weeks out from our men's physique show, Sonifu Open, 31st of August. For those of you who didn't know, uh, the changes I've done to my diet now, is that I increased my calories from 3,000 to 3,300. I've also started doing refeed days once a week. Yesterday I had a refeed day. See, the refeed day did some work, so this is pretty nice. I'm starving, guys. Delicious pre-workout meal. Really important for me to get in a lot of vegetables because that because that keeps me more full and satisfied. Now I'm just gonna watch some YouTube videos while I'm eating while I eat this. And that's going to be so enjoyable. And guys. <clears throat> Coke Zero, you know it. I also started eating almonds, so if I need some extra fats to one of my meals, I'm just gonna add some almonds. It's actually, you guys might think I'm weird for saying this, but I actually think this tastes pretty good. It might be because I'm on a diet, I'm like food is just heaven now, but like this is, ah, oh, it's good. good. Mm. Nice. Here we have our session, the AMRAP. So, let's go to the gym, hit that AMRAP, and hopefully we will have a, possibly a new PR, who knows. By the way, 
Look at these new pants I got from Legend London. Freaking awesome. Use size 34. So, pretty cool. It was an okay session. Uh, the AMRAP, four reps with 95 kilos. I felt pretty bad too, so it's actually pretty good that we were able to get four reps. Uh, what sucks about ben pre bench press is that so I'm able to do a lot of reps with heavier weights, but once the weights get like above 90% of my max, I'm not able to lift that heavy. So it's like I can do eight reps with 90 kilos, and then once I hit 95, I can only do four, which is annoying, but that's how it is. Uh, it doesn't matter where, as long as we're getting stronger, even though it's at the higher rep ranges, it doesn't matter, but uh, but now we're getting ready for a men's physique competition, so we have to go to the tanning bed sometimes to get some definition. So pro tip, if you want to look a little bit leaner, just take like three times in a tanning bed and you look way better. You look better and then you also feel better so uh, I just like to use the tanning bed when I'm cutting. So uh, yeah, let's go. Remember your protein boys. So I'm very sorry that I only filmed like the AMRAP on the bench press from the push day today but I was in a bit of a shitty mood. Uh, and there was so many people at that gym, uh, like impossible to film. And and but the good thing about that is it made me realize that I'm actually very happy that we actually bought the other gym membership because uh, I don't think I will be going to this gym anymore since there are so many people. I will be going to the other gym where it's easier to film. So now we kind of got confirmed that it was a good decision to buy that other gym membership as well. But. Uh, also, I have one confession to make. Yesterday, I was supposed to have a rest day. Uh, but we were having a posing, posing practice, like with the team. And I just said, fuck it, I'm just gonna train some arms to get a pump before the posing practice so that we look a little bit better, get pumped up. Uh, and uh, that's probably why I felt so... Like the, the session wasn't as good and I didn't feel as good as I wanted to. Probably because I trained arms yesterday, did some triceps. A lot of triceps, so when we were doing the bench press, probably my triceps were fatigued. So, guys, don't be an idiot like me. Don't skip your rest days. Don't. This is the first time on prep where I actually just said fuck it and skipped a rest day. But again, I learned that don't do it again. Don't skip rest days. They are there for a reason. So now I'm going home and eating that. Chicken, lean ground beef, and asparagus. I'm, I'm also going to the store, I think. But, oh shit, we got this right there. Ah, oh, fuck. They had like this vending machine. There. there we go. Outside where we had a tanning bed, and I was like, I'm pretty tired, so I need some caffeine. Cheers, boys. Go and get yourself some coffee or tea or Coke Zero or some soda. Like, enjoy the rest of this video. Cheers. Unfortunately, that is the reality uh, of. The first, that is the reality when you're getting like super shredded, like ready to step on stage, because then you will feel like shit some days. Uh, and the leaner you get, the more shit you will feel like. And at this stage, I don't feel it that much. I have some bad days, and today, uh, you know. I've been through this before. I've cut down to a ridiculously low body fat percentage like two years ago. So I know how it is and how I'm going to feel later on in the prep. But yeah, you just have some bad days and 
that's a part of the process but that ain't gonna stop us <laughs> we're gonna continue no matter what but uh yeah so here is everything i bought at the grocery store just now we have some pre-cooked meals for the days where I feel extremely lazy and I don't want to cook anything. We have lean ground beef, we have frozen blueberries and frozen raspberries, we have some baby spinach and guys, the next thing you're about to see, that's where the goods are. So we have the organic natural peanut butter staple and we have so different kind of rice cakes. We have the normal rice cakes, the boring ones. Then we have this, uh, <laughs> I don't know what it's called in English, but you can see here in the region. Uh, mice caca. And this one, snacker jacks. Like this one had like cheese powder on them. Same macros as this one, so uh, <laughs> yeah, pretty good. I have noticed one thing in the kitchen and I constantly forget about it and it's very annoying but you guys have probably heard it in some er videos earlier but okay when I have these lights over here switched on and I get close to them can you hear that sound it's so annoying it just makes it difficult to film in the kitchen so that's why I'm always standing over here or in the morning I don't turn on the lights but you know we have to we have to we need a light on or else it's like dark and depressing. We need lights, man. <laughs> so many of you guys might already recognize this game right here I've been playing it a lot and uh, it's so addicting and so much fun and it uh, helps me keep my mind off food all the time so uh, you know what I'm just gonna show you here this is old school runescape as you can see here are my stats as you can see here oh shit we're about to get 99 farming I just guys wanted to show you this game because uh, I'm playing it a lot and as you guys can see the title of the video I just wanted to address that it is actually not clickbait what I meant about the title was that whenever you really get hungry and you don't have anything to do you start to think about food but that's what's so great about playing video games it's like you keep your mind busy so while you're playing video games you're thinking about the game and at the moment when you're playing which means you don't think as much about food so that's actually a pretty good idea <laughs> to don't think about food just keep yourself busy oh, what I also one think is pretty cool is that you have some other big fitness youtubers who actually play old school runescape you have as I mentioned earlier Christian Guzman and he just and he reached 99 ranged on his ranged pure in the summer shredding episode and he made like a, a summer shredding episode about it and I thought it was pretty cool uh, you also have this guy right here Zach Ainsley he's an IFBB pro he also plays RuneScape uh, I think that's just pretty cool uh, to see uh, these other fitness youtubers also play old school RuneScape when I saw Christian Guzman hit 99 ranged in one of the summer shredding episode I just thought, man, we gotta do the same thing. We gotta get a 99 on our account on the, this Countess Prep series. So, let's go to the farming guild and inspect that last patch and get 99 farming. Okay, are you guys ready? Let's go to the farming guild. We need to put on the in game sounds in Old School RuneScape, so you can hear. Let's see, bam. Can you hear that? Freaking beautiful. 
We need to find a cool camera angle so you can see. Hold on. Okay, boys and girls. It's time to do Not enough farming incoming. Go. Hey! <laughs> Gosh darn. Look at this. Beautiful cape. Right there. Ah, oh, hell yeah. Look at us. Looking good. So, I basically just wanted to share this achievement with you guys. So, I was filming a video and I had RuneScape uh, playing in the background. And one of my subscribers, he actually saw RuneScape in the background and he commented on the video. But, hey, <laughs> I can see that you play old school RuneScape. Uh, what's your stats? And I thought that was pretty cool. So, I just wanted to show you guys this game. And, like, guys. This game is so freaking addicting, it's like heroin man, like no joking, it's so addicting. <laughs> so I know of some of you guys play old school RuneScape since you've commented on my videos, but if there are anyone else who also plays old school, comment down below, let me know, that would be awesome. So like whenever I'm not at the gym, at work, meal prepping, editing videos, I'm probably sitting here and playing video games, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> Just keeps my mind busy, you know. Uh, I'm not only playing old school RuneScape, I've been playing a lot of video games. So, uh, to start it off, in the earlier days, I was playing a lot of Pokemon. I've played all of the Legend of Zelda games. Legend of Zelda, freaking awesome games. If you haven't played them, go play them right away. Some Super Mario, I've been playing all of the Call of Duty games, a lot of Battlefield, a little bit of Counter Strike. I even had a period where I played League of Legends. What else? What I'm really looking forward to right now is Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Like Modern Warfare is my favorite Call of Duty series and in October they're finally releasing Call of Duty Modern Warfare and that game looks absolutely sick. So can't wait for that. <laughs> to sum it up, how video games help me lose body fat, it keeps you busy. <laughs>